Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 126. That is, what is defect density? Let me answer. Defect density is one of the software testing metrics using which we can determine the quality of the software, okay? Using this defect density software testing metric, we can determine or measure the quality of the software. And how this defect density is calculated? by dividing the number of defects found in the software by the size of the software, okay? When you divide the number of defects found in the software by the size of the software, automatically you will get the software testing metric measurement that is defect density. And here is the formula guys, defect density is equal to number of defects found in the software divided by number of lines of code written by developer for developing the software, which is a formula, okay? So here, as part of this formula, we use some terminologies like LOC and KLOC. This LOC stands for lines of code, whereas KLOC stands for thousand lines of code, okay? So let me take an example to make this particular formula clear for you. So for that, I'll go here and uh, I'll just take a new file. Just give me a second. So here I'll explain. So an example for defect density, understanding defect density. For example, guys, there is a software. Let's say this is the software. So this software has different modules or functionalities or modules. Okay, let's divide them into, uh, let's say some nine modules, okay? So in this first module, okay, module can be a login functionality or logout, whatever it, you can call here. Let's say there are 100 defects found and uh, here how many lines of code are written? Let's say the here uh, some 2000 lines of code are written, okay, 2000. Whereas here 50 defects, uh, they're like around 1500 lines of code. Here are 10 defects. So here, uh, say around 1000 lines of code, assume. Now here 500 lines of code, okay? So let's, uh, let us let me write the lines of code now, 500, another 500, okay? And here another 500. And let's say here 1000, 1000, 1000, I'll write 1000. Here also 1000 lines of code has been written by developer for developing this particular modules of the softwares, okay? So here 150 here, let's say 40 defects have been found here. Uh, let's say here 100 defects, okay? So here 10 defects like that. Individual modules have individual defects like here 10, 10, 40, okay? Then 50 like that, some defects have been found. So like this uh, in different modules, uh, different lines of code will be there and uh, that means uh, different number of defects will be there. If you calculate these defects, okay, you calculate these defects like 100 plus 50. Let's calculate the total number of defects in this case. I randomly written all these numbers, guys, okay? So 150, 10, uh, it's 160, 200, 300, 310, 310, then uh, 320, 360, and uh, 50. That is uh, 410, right? 410 defects have been found. Uh, how many lines of code are written by developers uh, for developing these modules? Uh, total lines of code, okay? Total lines of code, LOC, you can say. Lines of code is nothing but total lines of code ultimately, okay? They are like uh, 2,000, 3,000, 4,500, 5,000, 5,500, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Total 9,000. So total lines of code are 9,000. Total number of defects found in the software are 410. So how to get this... Uh, Defect density now, we have to divide 410 should be divided by number of lines of code that is 9,000. Whatever the result you will get, that is nothing but the defect density. Let's calculate this guys, okay? I'll uh, use some Google or something to calculate. 410 divided by 9,000, right? 410 divided by 9,000, what, what is the calculation? 0 0.04, almost 0 0.05 guys, okay? Let's take that as 0. Point, let's round it off. Uh, the result is 0. 0, 0.5 is the result, okay? This is what is the defect density. This is what is the defect density, guys. As an example, number of defects divided by lines of code. Here, lines of code is nothing but LOC, okay? Here, we have written how many lines of code? 9,000. 9, this is nothing but 9,000 LOC, okay? This is 9,000 LOC. LOC is a keyword or terminology used, uh, which is short, uh, short form for lines of code, okay? 9,000 lines of code. So, it's simply 410 divided by 9,000 LOC, like this we are writing, okay? The same thing, we can write something like this, okay? Instead of saying uh, 9,000 LOC, you can say 9K LOC, okay? 9,000 
lines of code okay 9000 okay this is short form but we should not be writing like this so what we do is whatever the result you are getting right 0.05 you have to multiply that with 1000 okay multiply that with 1000 then what you will get then uh, when you multiply this particular zero result of this 410 by 9000 lines of code whatever you get if you multiply by 1000 what you will get almost 50 you will get okay 50 right 0050 uh, 0 0.05 into 1000 is 50 that means for every 1000 lines of code there are 50 defects for every 1000 lines of code for every 1000 lines of code there are 50 defects so how this should be represented 50 divided by KLOC, I have to say. Okay, this is a format of representing 50 by KLOC. 50 defects for every thousand lines of code. Okay, or you can also say 410 divided by 9000 LOC. Either you can say this one, you can represent this uh, defect density result in the form of LOC, that is 4, 410 number of defects by total number of lines of code developed by the developers for developing the software, that is 9000 LOC. Or you can say 50 average defects per thousand lines of code. For every thousand of lines of code, there are 50 defects. Is it a good sign? To have 50 defects for every thousand lines of code, is it a good sign? No, guys, it's bad. What is considered to be good? One by KLOC is considered good. Okay, this is a measurement which is considered good. If if you if you want to say that the quality of the software is good, if you want to measure the quality of the software with the help of the defect density, this particular formula should result in one by KLOC. That means one defect for every thousand lines of code. 1 by KLOC means what? One defect is there for every thousand lines of code, which is a good sign to state that the quality of the software is good and can be released into the market for the end users. Okay. Then only you can take a decision about whether to release the software into the market or not based on the defect density. If you want to take a decision based on the defect density to determine the quality of the software to see whether it can be released into the market or not, then for every thousand lines of code, there should be only one defect. Average one defect should be there. Then only you can plan to release at least. Okay. So hope guys you understood what is defect density in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.